What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make springs in Onshape. Uh, if you ever need it to incorporate it into any of your models, this is how you would do it. I'm also technically going to be teaching you guys how to be using the Hex Helix tool right here at the top. Right here. So if you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's get started. So here I just have an Onshape document opened up. So we're going to be making our spring. What you're going to need to do first is create a sketch um, on any plan, it doesn't matter. Just make a sketch and you're going to make a circle. Just going to put it right here in the middle. Next, you're going to do an extrude. You're going to extrude that circle to make a cylinder, like so. You can obviously adjust the diameter of the circle and the height of the cylinder accordingly to what you need, but I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. So here I have my cylinder, right? So what I'm going now, now that I've had my cylinder, I'm going to click on my helix tool. This is what the helix tool does. Creates a helix on circular geometry. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on my part right here and as you can see it made this basically it made basically turns around the cylinder made like kind of I guess like a screw type um, path along the, my cylinder. So here you have the options to do clockwise or counterclockwise, however you want to do it. You have revolution, so it's how many, um, basically how many lines can you see right here? You can see four, so that's basically what that means. How many revolutions, how many times does it turn around the cylinder? So you can change this 20, even 100. But just to let you know that the more you put in, the more revolutions you have, the more lag you're going to get and the more it's going to take to update um, your parts. So let's just put 25 for now. 25. Now you're going to see this shows up curves. So curve one, that is your helix right there. So next what you're going to do is you're going to hide your part right here. Now that you have this by itself, you want to click on the curves and you want to click on the on an endpoint right here. That endpoint right there. And then you're going to click plane and you're going to make yourself a plane. And then it's going to make a curve point plane on the edge of that curve. And you click check. Now you make a new sketch on that plane. And then you make a circle on the center of your path like this. I'm just going to make it kind of small. like that and I'm gonna hit check now you just simply do a sweep if you don't know what how to do a sweep I recommend you watch my video on how to do sweeps so I'll just walk you through it real quick so you select your path which is your curves right here let me just hide all my planes faces sketch regions so you select your sketch first and then you select your sweep path so I'm just gonna choose this Wait for it to update. And then hit check. And as you can see, it made the spring. So all you have to do is just hide this. But if you're going to insert this into an assembly, you just insert this. And since this is a multi part uh, part studio, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out all my other on shape related videos. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching.